tomorrow is the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, honoring the great civil rights leader who inspired so many. Steve Hartman has met a couple marking the day with one small but meaningful step. At the Mount Airy Resort in the Poconos of Pennsylvania, Reverend Gilbert Caldwell and his wife Grace are arriving for their we're second here. honeymoon. We're here, we're here, we're here. They were greeted warmly. Oh, how are you? A sharp contrast to their first visit 60 years earlier. In 1957, they were married in North Carolina, then drove eight hours only to be turned back for being black. How did they put it? Did they give you a reason? First, they pretended I didn't have a reservation where I actually brought a copy. And then, of course, they said, but if we said yes, our guests would be very unhappy. They had to stay at a black-owned hunting lodge instead. Men with these big guns. <laughs> Not what you were planning on for your honeymoon? <laughs> Not what we were planning on. <laughs> Prodded partly by that experience, Gil immersed himself in the civil rights movement, working side by side with Martin Luther King Jr. Today, he speaks about the movement, which is how he ended up at Bear Tavern Elementary in Titusville, New Jersey last year. He told the honeymoon story, as he'd done a hundred times before. But for whatever reason, this group of fifth graders really took it to heart. At the end of the story, I was like, that's just terrible. It was really heartbreaking. Just because it's just so wrong. I feel like this is the worst thing that someone could do to someone. Even months after the Caldwell's visit, kids like Emily Eshelman are still this affected. You feel bad for them that they had to go through that? A ton. A ton. Yeah. Which is why each fifth grader wrote a letter to Mount Airy. One said, the Caldwells made me think about not only standing up for myself, but standing up for others and fixing mistakes that were made in the world. In closing, the kids requested an all expense paid honeymoon redo, which they got. It makes me feel really good inside because we know that even though we're just kids, we made an impact on the world. It was really magnificent to know that kids cared that much. Oh, the rug feels so nice. I should mention that the original Mount Airy was torn down years ago. What a beautiful place. This is a new building with new owners who were just so impressed with the kids, they wanted to help make it right. Maybe was this worth waiting 60 years for? Obviously, <laughs> this does not make up for decades of racial injustice, but it's a step and a sign that we can get there.